Sure. Hey, congratulations on being this uh, very different alternate uh, universe uh, type of Superman story. Why, why, when did you and why did you want to do some, a project like this? Well, I am a comic book fan. I have these in my library. Do you really? All three issues. Yeah. 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 So um, when Bruce and the company said, you know, we'd like to hire you for this, I'm like, great. Who am I playing? They're like, Jimmy Olsen. I'm like, really? Me? They're like, yes, sir. And we want it to be just who you are. No, not the one you know, but who you are. And so I was just thrilled, man. I mean, I know this story very well. I think it's incredibly timely right now to be coming out with this kind of conceptual story. Yeah. And to play James Olsen as an African-American... I love the twist. I love that he's a little more mature. I love that he's connected to Lex Luthor as opposed to Clark. I mean, it's just so much stuff to... Num, 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 num. It's beautiful. So, in, in the case for uh, Jimmy Olsen, obviously they made a little bit of changes mm -hmm. um, from the comics to the screen. Mm -hmm. um, being um, First of all, being, being African-American. I mean, uh, how, how great is that? I mean, it's but, but isn't Ol Olsen now he's starting to perceive as uh, African-American? Well, I, 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 I think that him being African-American allows for us to be more inclusive. And, and that he's connected to Lex Luthor, it gives us this another sense of Lex. We're like, okay, Lex has an African-American cat as his aide-de-camp. That tells us a little bit more about him as well, you know? And I just think it's a... It's like when I played John Jones and I was African-American as John Jones. I think the creators are infinitely genius to do that because it brings a whole um, collection of people that wouldn't be included. And I love that. And when they actually said, just be yourself, mm -hmm. what, what do they mean by that? Just your voice, your personality, yes. everything? Uh, smooth, grounded, intelligent. And that's who Jimmy is. It's James, really. It's, you know... Um, so that's what I applied, and I tried not to mess it up, honestly. Just had to get in there, say the words, you know, and, and, and be as good as I could be. Now, one of the things that I find this story fascinating is because it kind of puts us Americans almost in a villain spotlight. And your character, you know, being on the side of Lex Luthor or being in the, being in the government and everything, do you see, do you perceive as a villain or a hero? I think James tries to give Lex to the best of his ability, a bit of a moral compass. Because he knows it's going sideways, right? Yeah. So James still has that moral compass going. And he doesn't want it to go badly, you know? Are we, are we reading this wrong? Are we, are we getting it right, you know? So I think he's a bit of a Jiminy Cricket as well. Yeah, that's true. Jiminy that's Olsen. True. The conscious. <laughs> yes, the conscious, exactly right. And before I let you go, you've been doing this um, for such a long time yourself. Why do you love this business so much? Look at this. You feel the energy. Like I said, I'm a comic book fan. I feel like I've been doing study on this since I was six years old. So it's just a play. It's like a sandbox for me. I love playing in this universe, and I'll do it every time they ask. Excellent. Well, hey, great to speak to you again, and, and appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.